hello guys and welcome back to my kitchen so today we are making crumble berry crumble so red fruits crumble this is so 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 delicious so if you're interested just keep watching so here we have all the ingredients strawberries blackberries raspberries blueberries yes berries berries we have some oats as well we have some uh, wheat flour some sugar some butter some lemon juice and zest some strawberry flavoring and some salt so here what we're gonna do we're gonna put all our red fruit our berries in the pot everything in there we're gonna cook it for a few seconds yeah so while we are doing that, let me just remind you, if you need the list of the ingredients, just check my description box. Everything is in there. So to the fruit, we add our lemon juice and zest, and we're going to add some sugar. So like three tablespoons of sugar. Yes. And we're going to mix it and allow it to boil. So once it starts boiling, that is it. We're going to remove it from the fire, set it aside and start making our crumble. So here, while we are waiting for the bur berries to start boiling, I just want to remind somebody, please subscribe to my channel. I notice a lot of people are watching, but they have not, they have not subscribed, yes. And they even like the video, but they don't subscribe. And I know sometimes you can forget. So please click the red button that says subscribe. Like the video as well if you have not done so yet. Thank you so much. So here our berries are boiled, so we remove it from the fire and set it aside. In the bowl here, we are making our crumble, so we are adding our wheat flour. Now we are we're gonna add our um, uh, oats, yeah, and we're gonna add our sugar. Now we're gonna add salt, just a pinch of salt. It's not to change the taste or anything like that. It's just to bring out the flavor. Yes, and salt is very good at bringing out like boosting the flavor making it better so we are adding as well some strawberry flavoring you can add vanilla flavoring if you don't have the strawberry flavoring so that's completely fine vanilla will do a good job and our butter make sure your butter is cold yeah and cut into small pieces just to make it easier for yourself when you're mixing to make the crumble and now with our fingers we're gonna mix everything together we don't want it to be like sand like completely fine and completely mixed no we want it to be crumbled but with some bits in there you can see you see look at mine you can see the bits of butter here and there like yes that's what you want yeah and once that is ready all we have to do here is to pour our fruits in our um dish in our bowl in our whatever you're using that's gonna go in the oven yeah and we're gonna pour it in there and we're gonna add our crumble on top of it and that is it that is it guys so easy simple and very very delicious now one thing you can do as well once you make your fruits together with the lemon and the sugar you can pour it directly here and pour your crumble on top you don't have to go through the boiling process yeah you can skip that i like to boil mine yes but you can skip it and put the fresh fruit straight in the oven with the crumble that will do perfect as well so yeah so now we got we put the crumble on top we're gonna spread it evenly nicely and put it in the oven 180 degrees for let's say 30 minutes or until the top is nicely golden brown and that is it delicious and voila is ready you can make a crumble with the fruit of your choice as well it doesn't have to be berries and for the food lover that i am yes i added uh, vanilla ice cream on top of mine like it is thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in my next video bye